The KMT's next chairman, Eric Chu, is already entangled in controversy just two days after his election. He'd received a congratulatory letter from China's Xi Jinping, who endorsed the 1992 consensus and voiced opposition to Taiwan independence. In his response, Chu said the same thing. On Monday, Taiwan's premier blasted Chu for echoing China's position. He also took issue with a key omission in Chu's letter to China's leader. Eric Chu is on tour to thank his voters. Ahead of his taking office, controversy has struck the new chairman-elect over his exchange of letters with CCP General Secretary Xi Jinping. In his letter to Chu, Xi hailed the 1992 consensus and voiced opposition to Taiwan independence. He said that the cross-strait situation was complex and grim. He also expressed hope that both parties would work together to pursue, quote, national interests and to seek national unification. Chu, in his reply, blamed the state of cross-strait relations on the CCP, condemning the ruling party's anti-China and de sinicization policies. As Xi had done, Chu endorsed the 1992 consensus and voiced opposition to Taiwan independence. He did not sign off with a mention of the Republic of China. <laughs> He does not even dare to mention the Republic of China. From this, it can be clearly seen that when he says he loves Taiwan and will resolutely uphold national sovereignty, it is all false. Here, he had an opportunity to speak for the country and he did not make use of it, choosing instead to echo China. This is a source of disappointment. <laughs> I am very disappointed with the reaction of the DPP, and particularly of Premier Su Zhenchang, who had the audacity to heap scorn on us. On Monday, a DPP lawmaker said Chu was deliberately ignoring the CCP's goal of annexing Taiwan. Eric Chu appears not to see the CCP's intention of annexing Taiwan. He doesn't see the CCP's military harassment of Taiwan or its diplomatic suppression of Taiwan. On January 2, 2019, the 1992 consensus was defined by Xi Jinping as one country, two systems. I believe that Eric Chu knows that. The Mainland Affairs Council took issue with the omission of Republic of China in Chu's letter. It said that China was harassing Taiwan militarily and diplomatically. It called on Chu to get a handle on the mainstream opinion in Taiwan. He should not be willfully ignorant of the facts as he caters to the other side of the strait. The CCP has created tension in the Taiwan Strait and undermined the status quo, but he blames everything on his own government. That runs counter to public opinion in Taiwan. For Premier Su Zhenchang and his Mainland Affairs Council, loving Taiwan means to stoke cross-strait conflict with a broom. I feel that such a premier deserves to be removed with a no-confidence vote. With dust settling on the KMT election, Chu is hitting the ground running on cross-strait relations.